Welcome back to the Global BC Morning News, 745 now. And Timothy Renshaw is with us from Business Vancouver, talking business news. And uh, today, David Black is scheduled to provide an update. Uh, sorry, that's Wednesday for the BC Chamber of Commerce about his uh, idea to uh, get this $13 billion oil refinery in Kitimat. Uh, tell us a little bit yeah, about this. Sounds like a crazy idea, right? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's $13 million. He's a newspaper guy. Why would he be involved in something like this? Yeah. yeah so... Um, Part of it is money, you know, there's money to be, to be made from it, but also when he's not buying and selling newspapers, David is a, uh, he's a, a sailor. Right. He's a, he has a real uh, affection for the coast and its beauty, and he, he thinks and believes that, um, you know, a, a refinery would be far less uh, impactful on the uh, environment than, um, than a, a, you know, a shipping crude Right. Bitumen crude up and down the coast, which is which is true, because bitumen is a really tar-like substance. A spill of that would be really catastrophic. So right, aren't we talking about liquefied natural gas in this province? I mean, he seems to be yeah. going the other way. That's that's true, but there is uh, there is a lot of oil to get to market too. So, uh, and um, you know, he's he's been trying to get this going and trying to interest big oil in this, but they're not interested because. Um, mm. I guess there's not quite enough money to be made from it. Although a refiner's, uh, he would say, he would make about 10%, uh, which is a pretty good, uh, pretty good profit when you're talking about millions, and millions of dollars. Well, we've seen obviously uh, how how the the public, the general public in BC, take this as far as uh, drilling for oil. So I'm wondering, you know. How is he sort of going to play that out? Because, it, it, I mean, it's clear even state that people aren't interested in, in, in trying to move oil through the province. Well, that's true. It's through a pipeline anyways. Yeah. I mean, uh, a pipeline would be an issue for him too, but uh, the other way to move oil is by rail. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is really becoming a big, uh, a big option for, uh, for a lot of companies because with rail, um, if you have a spill or a crash, you can see where it is. Right. And it's not like underground, you have to look for it. So that's, that's a big thing for him. And what about the economic benefit of all this? There's huge uh, upside to it. Uh, I mean, there's there's uh, 6,000 construction jobs, probably 3,000 uh, permanent jobs from it, and plus, as he says, 10% of uh, however much he uh, he sells to the wider world. So, mm -hmm. and uh, that's one of his issues too, is to find market for, for the for the uh, refined product, but. Um, he says he's getting that under control. So. All right, well, we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting to get the update uh, tomorrow, that's for yeah. sure. All right, Timothy, thanks Thank very much. If you want some more information, you can reach uh, Timothy at BIV.com for more details.